Yo guys, welcome on in Kuros here, and today we're going to go over the new patch update for Counterside. This is just going to be a brief overview, but I do want to touch on some of the new characters that are dropping. One that's free to play, and two that you would have to spend to pull, and one of them being especially really good. <coughs> Del. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. But um let's go through it and if you guys do like the video as you're watching hit that like and subscribe it helps grow our channel i do appreciate you come check me on my twitch.tv channel come join us in the discord and let's get started all right guys we're gonna keep this a little short and sweet it's not gonna be that short and sweet i always say it is and then it ends up being like a 10 minute video but we have the new patch update for uh counterside this is a very big patch in my opinion um Mainly because we have things like Danger Close coming up. It, Danger Close, I don't believe, is in this specific patch, but it is coming very, very rapidly. Uh, but we do have a new event. Events are great. If you need to level up characters, you need to get materials, you always want to be leveling in events. Now, if you're completely decked out on every single one of your characters, obviously go farm all the other different things that you should farm. And if you uh, need a primer, we do have a leveling guide or uh, a farming guide uh, above my head somewhere here. But we have the old fear event mission and we have all this great stuff in the event store. One, you get a business sedan. I mean, what a business sedan, excuse me. I'll take that. You get some employment contracts, free summons. We do love free summons. Absolutely. And we get counter APT cores, which I know everyone is just, you know, hungry for those cores. Look how many you get 100 of these and then another five of the s apt cores pretty damn good then on top of it you get a 10 apt uh core coupon five times so that's 150 all together uh we get the new esper background which looks absolutely uh wicked um and then we get the new character rivet so this is great so you get a free new um uh operator SSR, SR operator for free. She is a bunny soldier, which is amazing. So you're probably seeing a lot of soldier cores. So this will be a good unit to level up. Not the best unit in the world, but why not, right? You're probably seeing on a ton of cores. Um, nothing to really write home about the special appraisals. You should buy them anyways, and then get everything else as well. Now going down through the characters, we have the new employees, Adele Meitner, Meitner. Meitner? My Mitner. I need to go back to school. <laughs> she is a counter. She is a sniper. And a spoiler alert, she is a must pull. In my opinion, she's a must pull for two reasons. One, let's look at the really good reason. Oh my dear lord. That is one hell of a skin. Now that is the beach skin coming out uh, on our accelerated schedule in probably about two months from the time that she drops. So uh, if you're looking for a very nice skin, mm, I don't know about that one. Uh, but let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at uh, Adele. She does get a very high rating in PVE, and the main reason she gets a high rating is for Danger Close. Danger Close is a new event that's coming out for uh, Counter Side, where you're going to be fighting a ton of soldiers and stuff like that. And what makes her really critical here is that passive skill, the Call of the Unknown. Summons mysterious beings and inflicts 40% more damage on corrupted objects and soldiers. All of her attack debuffs are for 12 seconds. The debuff target uh, target summon up to five creatures in their place upon death. Insane. Ins she's like she's like the pivotal unit for Danger Close uh, as of right now and for a very very long time. Uh, this passive alone makes her absolutely critical. Um, now you might be um, you might be hurting on some snipers. I really wouldn't bring her in the PvP, in my opinion. Um, her her skill cooldowns are pretty long, right? So you're really gonna want to build that skill haste and, um, and and maybe a few other ways to really get those down. But I mean, since you're really just relying on the passive, that's all you really need to worry about as of right now. Her, uh, her ultimate is pretty good, too. Inflicts AoE damage to all enemies in front, and the enemies lose 30% of their hit for 12 seconds. That's really good, uh, considering those soldiers and everything like that have a high hit chance. Um, debuff also decreases enemies' evasion 
by 30%. Also very, very good. Um, so very uh, a really great character that I highly suggest you guys go after. And then what, since we're here, let's go ahead and review Rivet. Now, Riv uh, Rivet, if you haven't been to this website, I'll have my link in the description down below. Not the highest rating in the world. And I do agree with this rating, uh, BCC. But she is free. She is a bunny. And uh, she'd be great on your homepage. So um, nothing really to write home here. Um, uh, passive skill is okay, right? Inflicts 50% more damage on counters and corrupted objects. So if you're making a PvP soldier um, uh, team, maybe, right? If you need to fill in a spot. Um, maybe if you have to fill in a spot, that's where I'd go from there. Fires a cannonball, deals uh, enemy counters and corrupted objects, lose 15% attack for uh, 10 seconds. So once again, those corrupted objects is going to be great in PvE again. So she is a good supplement or, uh, supplemental unit where you need to just fill the teams out. I wouldn't go completely ham on her, but you're probably sitting on a lot of soldier cores. So if you're just sitting on them, you might as well. But you could turn those into fusion cores for your other counters. So take what I say with a grain of salt there and decide which path you want to go down. Then we have uh, McCready. I'm not really going to review McCready, mainly because um, um, MacCready or McCready or Mac McDonald's, I don't know. Uh, she's not the best uh, support counter in the world. Uh, and the fact that she is unfortunately, and we just covered Rivet and look at this. Oh my God, look at that, look at that. But let's talk about she is in the um, let me scroll down here a little bit guys she is in the counter pass so if you're gonna buy the counter pass you're gonna get her naturally and i do think that counter pass is a good deal you get a lot in there um in my opinion but um this counter pass i'm not too i'm not jumping for joy over honestly just mainly because of the character that's in there but getting an SSR character that's 106 support, you know, it's it's good to round out the teams, right? You need those four ships, especially as uh, we increase dives from 45 all the way to 50 and and whatever, right? You need more people. Uh, let's scroll back up. So you do, we did just talk about Adele. Adele, absolutely worth it. I highly suggest that you guys try and pull on her. Uh, Rivet, you're going to get for free. Great, great assets. Love that there. Uh, just an optional character just to fill out the roster. We get a new counter case for Elizabeth Pendragon. That's going to be good. Counter cases are great because you get a unique equipment. Okay, so here's what's really pivotal. We get a brand new launch 30 day celebration and there's a lot of good stuff in here. You get a decent amount of gems, about 900. You get some skill books. You get some uh, uh, S APT, which are uh, the hard ones to get. And you get 30 of them. So that's really nice. And here's the biggest highlight is you get those purple schematics. That gets you most of the way to an SR ship. Or if you're saving, save up for those SSR ships. And if you haven't seen our ship guides above my head somewhere, highly suggest you guys check it out on the priority. And we get another 50 free summons. That's absolutely insane. That's absolutely insane. I'm hoping to pull, uh, I'm hoping to pull Lumi. I don't have Lumi. I have everyone else on this list. And Yang. Yang is being the highlight here. Um, uh, Gaewoon and Yang and... A few others uh, but these two on the left are definitely the highlights hopefully they do have a rate up and not just being shown on this uh banner but i'm very 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 excited to get some more pulls and that's all we really have we have a system update danger clues will open after the 30th june maintenance so we have uh after today's update you have roughly about six or seven days we'll do a more in-depth video on danger close but once again, I highly suggest you pull Adele so you guys can pr uh, progress in Danger Close, which is another PvE event. And uh, that's all I got. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully that answers some questions. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. If you liked the video, hit it a thumbs up. Subscribe once again. And I will see you guys on the next video. Fist bump from me to you. <laughs>